What up guys? Mike Gross, RockingGuitarLessons.com And of course YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1 That's some low-tuned new metal. You know the cool thing, man. YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1 So we got 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and now. This channel's about you guys. So uh, I take your requests and uh, we get you rocking. You want to tune drop A for this? This is uh, Crown the Empire with Machines and this is for Z Ghost Killer subscriber Z Ghost Killer Z E Ghost Killer drop A is like a it's like a drop D concept you know if you're familiar with drop D tuning uh, but the top string is an A and the D string is also an A so it's the same concept it's just we have an A for the root instead of a D if you were comparing it to drop D tuning alright so um Let's jump in. We're going to start with, these are all power chords on the top two strings. I know the carpet's like a mess, man. I promise you, I'll get a carpet cleaner out here immediately. Like right when I'm done here. Man, and I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't lie. So we have one, two, three, four on the open E and A. And then we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up um, on the next group of open E and A strings. Then go fret 8, E and A, make sure you bar, it kind of serves as a, um, a mute when you do that as opposed to two fingers, it's harder to mute the below strings to keep your playing clean. So that'll be 1, 2, 3. And then 5th fret, 4 times, E and A. Down, up, down, up, down, up. 3 times on the 3rd fret, E and A. Then we're going to go up to the 8th fret, go 4 times. Then down, up, down, up, down, up. Third fret, E and A. Down, down, down. So let's play just that. Um, there's a, a section we got to catch at the end of this, but the concept changes a little bit. So I want to kind of stick with this concept. Make sure you're cool with it, that you got it. This is the next part. Fifth fret E and A, five times. Seventh fret, same two strings, three times. So it's five and three. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Take that same concept, apply it to fret eight and ten on the top two strings. So five times on eight, three times on ten. Now, if you have to count, for now, that's totally cool because you do that a few times through and it'll become natural. Another thing is, if you're a big fan of Crown the Empire, you've got these beats probably in your head. And uh, sometimes we're not familiar, or we may not know what that is, but we know something changes. Little things like that work up here, man, to make things come together. But, you know, if you have to count it at first, there's nothing wrong with that. So let's play that whole section. <laughs> Then, um, so it's two times through, right? Then we're going to go 2G, 3B. Kind of angle this to where we mute the high E. Strum all five strings. If you hit the high E, it won't matter if it's muted, right? So, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, that's all that does there. Police are coming. I can hear them. They're coming for me. Bad boys, what you gonna do? All right, so we have a cool little groove here. Open E, down, up, down, down. And then go up to fret seven and slide. It's all in the E. Palm mute, the open E, go up, down, up. 
And then open E, no palm mute. None of this is palm muted right here from this point. So. So. Up, down, up, palm mute. And then no palm mute. First fret E. Open E. Fret six on the A. Open E. First fret E. Sixth fret A. So it'd be. So and then this, there's some alternating. Some, some of this stuff similar, but. Seven, and then open, open. So There's two opens might be palm muted in there, or up, down, down. Actually, you know what? I think it's down, down, up, down, down. Seven, open, open. So pretty sure. Dang it. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, guys. And so then we'll go. Open E, palm mute. Up, down, up. And then go 6-6 six, six, E, A. 3-3 three, three, E, A. Open E, palm mute. Up, down, up. And then go 6-3-6-3 six, three, six, three on the E. Do that slow down. Then you're back to the beginning. So, dang it, I'm losing it. My mind is so spent right now. It's the first one we did. All right. We have four subgroups in this second riff. In second riff, I'm including this as part of the first section that you learned, okay? Because that goes try uh, two times. Oh yeah, it goes back to the. But they add the open on the end of that. See, that's all the same. When you're doing the one E and the six A, that's always the same. And then um, back to that. And then this time, instead of going, you'll go, which would be open E, up, down, up, down, palm muted. And then bar the first fret E and A then bar the third fret E and A, and I would use first and third finger for that. And you hear me talk about subgrouping a lot. That in itself is a good subgroup to work on if you're kind of getting used to the whole palm muting thing, because um, the progression right there is not tough, this little subgroup. Um, it's five things. Up, down, up, right? So that'd be a good thing to work on. Okay. Um, and repeat it, you know, until you get used to it. And then the next part of it will go. You'll go palm mute, open E, up, down, up. Bar the first fret, E and A. And then bar the third fret, E and A. Go three down strokes. So your last four things are. So. So if you take, let me grab a seat real quick. If you take, like, you know, you hear me talk about the subgrouping all the time. We could take the one that's five things going on, which was the, and we repeat that, right? Say we do it four times or 50 times, it doesn't matter. As long as you get the feel of it, that's what we're, our goal is here. And you loop it, you make it loopy, right? And then you play the, the final subgroup, which was, and then you keep playing that one. Get the motions, get comfortable with it, all right? And then you go back and you can play both those together and they should jive a little better, you know? So. Anyways, 
that's like a way that I learned um, subgrouping. And if it's something new, like brand new that I'm working on, um, I still apply that same principle of subgrouping, taking a few notes, making a loopy out of it, and just repeating it. And uh, try it, man, and see what, see what happens. I think you'll find that it's going to be very effective in your guitar playing. All right, so drop A. Um, that's for Z Ghost Killer. Crown the Empire with Machines. Um, don't crown the empire with machines, but crown the empire slash machines. Um, my email, mike at rockinguitarlessons.com. Uh, if you have questions, you know, I try to jump in, but I have a lot of subscribers, about 82,000 now. And it's been about two and a half years since uh, I opened this channel. And I used to try to get to every single one. It's impossible. I literally have thousands of requests. So I, I have a a few people man quite a few actually on my youtube channel good players that will jump in and help I, you guys know who you are and i appreciate you of course it's interactive man so get involved comment and uh, help each other out in, in your playing uh, i do teach privately on skype if you want more information on that i teach guitar and bass my wife Julian teaches vocals and yes she can teach you to scream she can do it she can do it the zen of screaming anyways if you go to my website rockinguitarlessons.com Click on the Skype Lessons tab, it'll give you the price breakdown, how it works. They're typically a half hour or 60 minutes per week or bi-weekly, every other week. Um, I have a lot of students, so it's important that we get you a set day, set time. Anyways, you can find the, the rates on my website. Also, I offer what's called CVT Lessons, which is say you're too busy and you can't fit in a set day, set time. You pick what you want me to do. I handwrite the tabs, transcribe it by ear subgroup, timestamp everything for you, uh, section it off, and then I even do like EQ uh, guesstimations and the primary effects that are used in the song. And then I will do, uh, I record a video lesson of it that goes along with the tabs, very detailed, and then I upload that to my YouTube channel and I scan the tabs, send the tabs to your email. The prices and all that stuff you will find on my website and it's easy to find, it's right in the middle rockinguitarlessons.com. While you're there, there's some free stuff. You know, stop in, check out the site, and um, what else? Fill out the contact information while you're there. That'll put you on our newsletter. Um, it's supposed to be going out, uh, you know, monthly or bi-monthly. I need to double check on that, but that'll keep you in the loop with what's going on. It'll only take you, you know, a matter of seconds to fill that out, and it lets you know what's going on with rockinguitarlessons.com. So, until next time, keep practicing, keep rocking, keep subgrouping and uh, watch your playing come together. Remember, don't rush stuff, man. Too, too many times, us guitar players, no matter what our age, if we're a beginner, you know, we hear a song and we just try to jam through it real quick. Slow down, it'll pay off. There's too many sloppy players. Take your time, do it right, subgroup it, and um, that way when it does speed up, and it will speed up, it'll be clean. You won't have all the slop in there, all right? All right, we'll catch you guys later. Be sure to subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later. See ya. for part two where Mike learns how to tune guitar. That's coming next. See you guys.